I have no idea what I'm gonna title this vlog, like maybe Hot Mess Express. Let's talk about mental health and anxiety together. Maybe we can relate to one another. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just thought we'd do like a pretty chill vlog today. I have a lot of housekeeping things. So will this be the most exciting vlog? No, if you just wanna hang out with me, like, I'm down to just hang out. I'm sitting here having my cup of coffee that is almost done, writing in my planner all the things I need to do today. This is typically how I start my day. I'm also using a new camera. The quality of the picture looks better, which might be scary for me because I have nothing on my face. I bought this planner from Staples like a very long time ago when I lived in New York City, which was like in 2014. Um, but I love it because it's like refillable. So I just buy the papers every year. Oop and there's always papers falling out of it. This makes me feel better. I feel more together. It kind of like eases me. I'm, I've been dealing with a ton of anxiety, which has been hindering me from like being productive, right? This was last week's to-dos, and I did like a pretty decent job taking them off, but I also get anxiety when I don't take everything off. I'm just an anxiety riddled person. I have my workout gear on. This is always half of the battle. The other half is figuring out which YouTube video I'm gonna do. I do not have a gym membership. That's something that I did away with years ago, like even before COVID when I moved in with my then fiance. No, he was my boyfriend then. When I moved in with my husband, then he was my boyfriend. I canceled my gym membership and I never like got a new one since moving here um and it's been the best thing to ever happen to me because i save a lot of money and i get to support fellow youtubers and i just feel like it's less of a to-do less of a to-do is better for me because if it's less of a to-do i don't harp on it as much i've gone through a lot of like body dysmorphia like eating issues and this is definitely the best that i've ever been i just listen to my body i feel like since turning 30 i've just really become a whole different person. Some for better, some for worse. I like to do a 30 minute workout and then stretch for 10 minutes. I feel like that helps me mentally and it's like in and out. You're done, you can check it off your list. Save time to do other things, you know? You really only need 30 minutes a day. I'm gonna go look on my iPad, figure out what workout we're gonna do. And I will of course share because that's all I do here is share, share, share. Day five, no repeats, hit workout from Heather Robertson. Absolutely love her. I typically do Heather Robertson or I do this one, Growing Anna's, absolutely obsessed with her. I do her videos all the time. I probably do her videos the most. And then before I did Heather or Anna, I always did Sydney Cummings, but I kind of haven't done Sydney since she got pregnant. I gotta be honest, before she got pregnant, I was really like kind of outgrowing her, you know, like when you're just bored. I wanted to mix up my workout anyway, and then she got pregnant and she really wasn't doing core. So that was kind of like my easy out to no longer do Sydney. But shout out to her. She does really, really good videos if you're someone that's looking to gain a lot of muscle. It is quite a few hours later. I still haven't worked out and I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Like this happens to me all the time. I don't know what it is. I wanna start my day off and I wanna get myself together and I wanna be productive and I wanna do boom, 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 boom. And then like, honestly, my anxiety lately has just been so bad. One little thing set me off and kind of like spiraled me out of my productivity. I really wanna work on this. Like I don't really know how to cope sometimes and I feel like something will happen and I'll get so upset obsessed with it, but like anxiety wise, like it's like I get anxiety about something so small and then I get derailed from my to-do list. Some days I just let it consume me and I let it be that serious. But this is just something that I've really been struggling with lately and I would love to hear, are you someone that struggles with anxiety? And if you do, like, do you know what I'm talking about? I feel very scatterbrained. Like, I don't really know if it's anxiety or if I have like, ADD, I'll start one thing and then before I finish it, I move on to the next thing. So like I started cleaning in here and then I said, oh, I wanna clean my closet. I didn't finish cleaning in here. I moved on to my closet. I didn't finish cleaning my closet. I'm sure what it is, but it is now 2.07 and I would like to work out. I would like to resuscitate the remaining portion of my day. I wanna work out. I think I'm just gonna do 30 minutes on the Peloton. I really do wanna do that video. However, I just need something where I'm gonna hop on the bike. I don't need to think about it and I just go with the motions. Maybe I should meditate and I might do like 10 minutes of yoga. I really just need to calm down. I feel really riled up right now. <laughs> I 
get 30 minutes on the Peloton. Like I told you, I only do Cody Rigsby when it comes to Peloton. I know that's very close minded of me. If you like a different instructor, let me know down below in the comments. But like Cody is the only one that makes me laugh. And personally, I've had the Peloton for like a year and a half now. Mike bought it for me for Christmas one year, bomb ass gift. However, it's still really freaking hard. So if you're not gonna make me laugh through the pain, like Cody does, I personally am not really interested. I was feeling really good until I got off the bike and I came upstairs because I try and leave my phone up here when I work out so that no one can interrupt me. Someone texted me to tell me that someone else was talking about me. I'm the kind of person where I'm very much unapologetically myself and I genuinely don't care what people think about me. I care if people think that I'm rude to them or if they feel like I did something to hurt them, that I care about. I never, I always try to be a kind person. I'm nice to everyone. I will say my piece though. So if you do something to me, I will tell you how it is. That's just how I am. I keep it pretty straightforward and sometimes I'm a, I'm a little too blunt, which can hurt people's feelings, but I never mean to hurt people's feelings, right? So basically someone had an issue with me and I'm not even gonna say what it is because it's so petty and it's so stupid, but I'm more so bothered by the fact that the person texted me to tell me that this other person was talking about me because it's like so minute and it doesn't matter. And the person who told me what's going on knows that I have a lot going on in my life. So for them to even think that that was like a substantial thing to bring my awareness to just like really bothered me. The thing is, is I know that the person that texted me to tell me that this other person was talking about me, I know this sounds like so petty because it is so petty, but this is what bothers me. If you are my friend, you will just shut it down, right? That's what I would do. That's what I would hope someone would do. However, I know that this person just kind of enjoyed talking smack about me with that person, whether they admit it or not. Like I just, I don't have room for toxicity in my life and I don't have room for people who just wallow in the shit. Like I understand if you're going through a hard time, but when you're someone that feeds off of talking negatively to other people and then letting others know that they're being spoken about negatively, like that really bothers me. This is my TED talk, I am done. I'm showered. I have my acne. Oh my God, it's not acne. Oh my God, what is it? Something an acre hair turban to dry my hair. I like it. I prefer the Aquis towel better if I'm being honest, but this one's like a lot softer. Let's just continue the hot mess express. I'm just gonna like put some skincare on. I am like really obsessed with this bag. Mike bought me this for my birthday. Cushy. This is the bigger size one. It comes in like so many other colors, but I literally just keep this packed 24 seven. Like I'm sitting at my vanity and I have drawers and everything, but this just has my staples in it. I literally work out of this every day. I just find this to be easier for me in the summer cause like Mike and I are bopping around from place to place. So when we go, I just literally grab this wherever it is we're going. I am forever packed. Let me know if you wanna see a what's in my to go bag. It zips all the way down on the sides so it can like lay flat. It's so good. I think I would have, sorry, I'm not in frame. I don't remember how to vlog. So we're just going through the motions of this together today, clearly. If you watched my most recent YouTube video, I talked about like my all time favorite beauty products that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. This is one of them, the Beach Mist by Lifestyle & Co. I am dwindling, a girl is dwindling. I use this several times a day. It's so nice, it smells so good. I did get a bunch of products from OG. I know this is just like what it all comes down to. I wanna vlog and I wanna be fun. All I wanna do is talk to you guys about beauty products because I have an addiction and people just keep sending me things, which thank you so much, I'm so blessed. OG sent me a ton of really good things. Obsessed with their contour set, like obsessed. I would have uploaded a video by now showing you an unboxing of the products that they sent me and also how to use their contour set. This is just like too fragranted for me. The mist, yeah, it's just like very fragranted. It smells like straight up flowers and the mist is just like a little bit too aggressive whereas this one is just perfect. So I need to buy more of this Lifestyle & Co. Let's work together. Do I have to beg because a bitch will beg. You know what? Let's just do this now to give you some content as to what's in this bag, okay? I keep my everyday makeup bag, Sonia Kashuk. Is that how you say it? I never know. Yeah, and that, this is just like sticky. 
sorry. I hate like talking poorly about things, but not everything can be amazing and we all have different tastes. So just because I like something doesn't mean that you like it. And if I don't like something, that doesn't mean that you necessarily, you know, you know, it's all about taste. So this is my Sonia Cashew. I got this at Target a really long time ago. I love a clear makeup bag, okay? I'm obsessed with this. If it were clear, it would be a, a bajillion times better. However, the material on this is so nice and look at the bottom, it's so cute, I love it. But a clear bag so I can see what I'm grabbing so I can see what I'm doing. Continuing on as to what's in here, we'll get to what's in here. My Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I am dwindling, a girl is down, I need an Ulta run. I've tried to be really good lately about not buying things because I have so many things. I'm just very anti being wasteful. It really bothers me when people are wasteful. Like, and also clutter gives me crazy anxiety. I have a lot of things and when I have a lot of things and I'm not using all of my things, like it drives me nuts. I get pleasure, pure happiness out of using the things that I spend my hard earned money on. Okay, going through my go-to bag, this is a friendly reminder to me that I don't have a chapstick in here and that I desperately need one. We're gonna go with this one, Wet n Wild. Smells like grapefruit, what is this called exactly? Lip treatment, it's grapefruit mint. It's really good, I really love it. But honestly, I just need to put something on my lips because they're looking crackly and depleted. I watch a lot of vlogs and everyone looks so fabulous in their vlogs and they all have just like the most beautiful rooms and like, the most full face of makeup. That's just, and I really aspire to be that, but that's just not me. And I find that that really deters me from vlogging. So let me know. Like when you watch this video, I will not get offended. Would it be more entertaining? Or would you be more intrigued to listen to me really talk about nothing for this amount of time with a full face of makeup? Like, does that entice you more? I don't know. I feel like it entices me. Like I like to watch vlogs with people who have makeup on and are fully dressed by like 9 a.m. in the morning who like do YouTube and whatnot for a living and don't have to sit in an office all day. I feel like that entices me because that's what I'm aspiring to be. Whereas I don't know if I'd be enticed to watch myself as someone else sit here without a full face of makeup and seemingly not having their shit together because I don't aspire to be this. And I know that sounds really mean. I accept me and you know, I give myself the grace because sometimes we really need to. And there are points in my life and days in my life where I hit those aspirations. Just as of lately, I'm not. So I'm gonna add Wet n Wild to my beautiful bag right here. Obviously I have my Satchu face roller. I roll my face every day. I'll show you the full thing on one side, but let's speed it up so you're not bored. Well, I should say more bored than you already are. took me about like a minute, not even. So what I usually do is I do exactly that kind of motion, but I'll do 10 in each section. And when I roll this, I'm not rolling back and forth. I'm rolling it back, lifting and bringing it forward. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. This side is just a little bit tighter, a little less puffier than this side. This side is ha hanging a little bit, I would say, like especially in this area. But this is just so, so good. I find it to be really relaxing. Self-care can be a little confusing, okay? Like I feel like everyone says, oh, self-care. And it's become such a marketing tool in the beauty industry, which like, I love the beauty industry, but I also hate the beauty industry for many reasons, just like because we live in a capitalist country. I love the beauty industry because it makes me feel good about myself, but we also know what it's like for the beauty industry to make you feel like crap about yourself. You know, like the constant Kim Kardashians of the world who paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to look like they look, okay? Good for them, I'm not knocking it. If that's what makes you happy, girlfriend, and you wanna get work done, have at it, you know? I'm never gonna say that I would not get work done. I don't know, maybe I would. As of now, I haven't. I got Botox once, but that was a while ago. There's no Botox left. We can do a chit chat, talk about that next time. We'll save that 
as a topic for another day. I just like love beauty products, like sitting here and like pampering myself and giving myself attention when normally throughout the day, I'm just tending to other people. So if I can just have a few minutes in the morning to tend to myself and a few minutes in the evening to tend to myself, i.e. skincare routines in the morning and at night, and then you know like 30 minutes working out because that's also me time. Like that's what I love, it's so nice. I forgot what I was saying. Self-care is important, you should care for yourself, but the beauty industry pushes like, let me throw a face mask on and ooh, self-care. Like self-care is so much more than that. Self-care is talking to yourself, checking in with yourself every day, saying nice things to yourself. Like guys, I'm not kidding. When I do my skincare, I've gotten to the point where I'll try it. I'll try anything at this point. I literally talk to myself in the mirror and I'm like, you got this girlfriend. Like you are gonna kill today. You're gonna have a great mindset today. You are blessed. You are loved, you woke up, today is another day. I will literally say that to myself in the mirror, okay? I might sound hokey pokey, I don't really know, but whatever works, sister, whatever works. So self-care is just so much more than throwing on a mask. It's really checking in with yourself. It's talking yourself through things and giving yourself the space to feel how you feel without making excuses. Do you get what I'm saying? My everyday eye cream, you know, I really was, about this, but I really love it as of lately. Cryo Recovery Eye Serum by Charlotte Tilbury, you know? Oh, I usually put this on before I roll my eyes. You know, I'm just like not paying attention because I'm talking to you, but also in here, love this stuff. This is really nice under makeup or just by itself. It's hydrating, but it doesn't irritate my eyes and my eye skin gets very irritated. Like there was a hot minute there. I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you guys several times, there was like a months long, months plus long time where I didn't use any eye cream because they were all just really bothering me. I would normally follow up with this, but like the daytime is over and I'm not going outside and like, I'm just gonna clean my house, paint my nails and call it a day. Marat Hydration Perfecting Day Cream with SPF 30, bomb. Sachu Gua Sha, if you wanna see a Gua Sha, maybe I'll do a Gua Sha video or the next time I vlog and I have nothing to do or talk about. I have a contact case because I wear contacts. I am blind as a bat. Oh, I wanted to try this, but then I had a weekend and I was just like an emotional mess and I didn't really do my makeup. Araceli Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil in Sangria. Look, I feel like such a beauty vlogger. Look at this in my hand. It's like a really pretty rose gold. I would swatch it, but I'm very clean. So I don't feel like making a mess. Lip liner. I've been loving spice lately and I've really been loving it with this, which I pair with everything and anything or nothing because it's so good. This is the Tarte Sugar Rush Dragon Fruit Lip Gloss. Oh my God. These two are really nice together. Floss because you know, I'm flossy. Araceli, I have a few Araceli things in here. This little travel to go eyeshadow. It's okay, it's pretty good. Their eyeshadows are really pigmented and they blend out nicely. I kind of just like this because it's so small and it doesn't take up enough space. And I essentially have a crease shade and a highlight shade. This is my compact that I leave in here. I've used this several times, you would never know. Um, It's okay. I do like the cream shade. The rest of it's not really me. I gotta clean this, but I use it for the mirror just cause like look how chic that is. But she looks expensive. Some lady things, you know, I have Playtex personal wipes because sometimes we get sweaty and we just wanna keep it clean and keep it smelling good. L'Occitan Ultra Rich Body Cream, just in case I go somewhere and I need a body cream. I have hand cream because my hands are always dry as hell. So I just threw that in there. I have this, which I'm gonna take out because like how often is she wearing yellow eyeliner? Not very. The Araceli Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliners are bomb. This is in the shade yellow or amarillo. I'm trying really hard to learn Italian. It's going, but it's not going. I'm just not gifted in the sense where I can learn languages really well. This necklace that I bought at TJ Maxx that I need to go put away. I kind of just like threw it in here because I didn't want to wear it to the beach. Look how cute. It really reminds me of Sailor Moon, you know? Like the, her moon was like this though, I think. It was like a crescent moon, whereas this one points down. Or did hers point up? I think hers points it up like this, like on the cat's head, like that, like horns, okay. Anyway, so I really love this. This I'm mad at because it made a hell of a mess. Nighttime products that I'm gonna have to clean, but I have, I don't even wanna go in here. I think this leaked although I'm not really sure. I have Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. This is great. 
at being a second cleanse for removing your makeup, like in a double cleanse routine. It's really bomb. Laneige, I got the water bank moisture cream and the water sleeping mask. I tend to go for the water bank cream more so than the sleeping mask. Sample size that I stole from Mike because Kiel sent me a sample size. I went through it in like two days and then I jacked his. I'm obsessed with this. I use this all the time and I tell everyone that they need this. The Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I have a big jug in my bathroom that I pour in here and this is like my to-go when I'm going down the shore or anywhere else overnight bag. So I'm gonna move these aside because I need to clean them all. And then I have all of my jewelry that I snuck in this little mesh pocket. I always get questions or comments about how people love my love ring. This is not a love ring. I am a fraud. Like I said, I am bougie, but she's also bougie on a budget. So this is a love ring, but I bought this on Amazon and no, this is no longer available. Obviously this is the gold one. I don't know where the silver one is. It's somewhere in here, but so I bought this on Amazon. This is fake bougie on a budget sometimes, you know? I very rarely fall for Instagram ads, but I fell really hard for this Instagram ad and I'm so happy that I did because I'm so in love with this bracelet. This is a chill pill. I'm gonna see if the camera will cooperate enough with me to show you. Can you see that it says chill? It's a chill pill and it's a bracelet and it's adjustable. When I say whatever works, whatever works, I've been wearing this when I go to work and just looking at it and like reminding myself that nothing is that serious. And sometimes you just have to subtly remind yourself to take a chill pill. Take a chill pill fortune. My girlfriend Bailey bought this for me when she was in Greece. How pretty is this? I love it and it's blue. And I don't know about you, but when I think of Greece and Mike and I are going to Greece in, in September, I'm so excited, oh my God. But I think of blue and this is just so good. And I love evil eyes, girl. Your girl rocks an evil eye all the time. This is my evil eye ring from Amazon. I will link this down below because it is still available. And I'm gonna buy a couple just as backup because I kid you not, I wear this every day in the summer. I live for an evil eye. I don't need your bad juju. Keep it to yourself, you know? Keep it to yourself. What the hell? And she opens all the way. And then inside there's two mesh pockets. I usually put my makeup brushes in here. That's one thing that I didn't show you that was in here. I'll talk about my makeup brushes next time. Um, my go-to ones that I use every single day, but they're not in here because I did a total cleanup of all of my makeup brushes. And then this side has a zipper and this is what it is. Guys, it's so good. I'll link it down below. I'm not gonna make any money. There's no affiliate code, but so yes, let's throw everything back in here. This is my everyday makeup kit. You could probably guess what's in here. Uh, actually, some of these I don't think you would, but the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, so freaking bomb. I'm obsessed with this. And I use the itiest bittiest bit, like it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. It just evens out my skin. Merit Brow Gel, duh. This crown brush, I think that they discontinued it, but it is my go-to cream blush brush. It's so freaking good. OG, again, they sent me some pretty dope products and this brush was one of them. It's a brush, obviously. You can use it for foundation, but I like to use it for my cream contour that they sent me, which I'm pretty sure is also in here. Yes, in copper, so good. So I'll take this on this and then I pat it into my cheeks and sculpt my face. The angle of this is so nice to really help chisel and shape things, so freaking good. NYX Bear With Me Concealer, this is my favorite concealer at the moment and it has been a minute since I really loved a concealer, but I like this because it goes on well with a brush and I like to use a brush in my day-to-day -day life. It's just easier for me. Very rarely do I have like a damp beauty sponge. Revlon, two tweezer thing, one has like, you know, an angled side and the other one's like a pointier side for like ingrown hairs and whatnot. These are not the best, but if you have like a loose hair somewhere, especially me, like I'll get like a little fuzzy on the chin in the middle of the day and I won't notice it until it's like lunchtime and I'm in the bathroom at work. So good to have a tweezer. Brushes, the Yensa Silk Bronzer Brush, my bronzer brush, so, so good. Real Techniques. For a minute there, I was using this as a cream blush and cream contour brush, but it's, it just ain't it. Like that's not what it's good for. This is the Expert Face Brush Real Techniques 200. If you are interested in any Merit products, check out my channel. I've talked a lot about them and I also have an affiliate code, which if you want something from Merit, please use my code, especially if I'm the one that told you about it. I won't make any money off of you, but I will make somewhat of a commission and I do these videos for free. So Merit, I have the Terracotta blush that I use as a bronzer, Beverly Hills blush that I use as blush, both cream, 
both beautiful. Merit has since updated the packaging, so it's a little cuter than this, but nonetheless, still really good. My e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, so freaking good. I use this with the Bear With Me Concealer, so freaking good. Lash Paradise, this is okay, by L'Oreal. It kind of gives like a falsy look, and I like more of a wispy, kind of like natural lash look. So my personal favorite is Lancome Lashy Doll. I really like the Merit Lengthening Mascara, which I'm coming up on the end of, so I'm definitely gonna have to buy a new one really good. And then last but not least, just this cheap ass little mirror. I don't know where I got this, but I like it because in the sea of all of the things I just mentioned, it stands out easily so I can find it. And then this is my Sonia little baggie. Skinnier things in first, and I make sure all of the brushes are pointing the same way. This way, when I throw it in my backpack to go to work, I'll stand it up on the edge like this so my brushes don't lose shape and none of the product is upside down and leaks. I just stand everything up like this. I want to just round this entire hot mess of a video out with you guys by just saying that not every day is gonna be your best day. And I'm not only saying this to you, but I'm also saying this to myself. And some days you're just not gonna get everything done and that's okay. Sometimes you need days where you just do the best you can, you get what you can get done and you move on. Tomorrow is a new day. Hopefully I'll get it together tomorrow, but I need to just give myself the grace to have a minute and be a little easy on myself. It's just been a lot lately. I think we've all been going through a lot. I just feel like the world is fucking insane right now. COVID kind of just enlightened all of us in the sense that life is too short and you shouldn't be spending time doing things that don't fulfill you and don't make you happy or like you don't feel like make a difference. So I feel like the last three years were all blurred into one and time has just flown by. But at the same time, I just feel so stuck. Yeah, I'm ready for a big life change. And I think once the wedding happens in September, the reception, cause Mike and I have already been married for like a year, a year and a half by the time the reception comes, which it's fine, you know? I just see a lot of things falling in place for me. And I'm very much looking forward to that. So thank you for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this crazy ass video, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I upload a video, whether I'm rambling and ranting while doing nothing or beauty based, you know, makeup, skincare. That's my kind of forte. Thank you so much for seriously bearing through this if you did let me know leave a comment down below if you watched until the end leave me a hug emoji and i will reach out to one of you with maybe something special thank you guys so much for joining me i had a wonderful time sending you light and love until my next one bye guys Mwah.